Mark McGovern returns once again to enter in the 2023 Monster Hobbies Build a Monster Contest. Now Mark has been with this contest since I pretty much started this thing way over a decade ago. And now without further ado, let's go down and see his models. Mark's first entry into the Build a Monster Contest for 2023 is in MONMH3, Totally Wild. This is the Rat Fink Eliminator. Mark says, I added extra hair to the top of the box scale head with sheet styrene. The eye was accurized by sanding the iris flat, drilling out the pupil, and adding a clear dome for the cornea. Body hair was created using Liquitex Acrylic Fibers Texture Gel. Hot glue drool was augmented with painted cotton smoke to suggest that this fink eats the cars. The pants legs were opened up and lower legs added to the feet. Smashed Hot Wheel cars were added to the custom base. Mark's next entry is in MONMH11 Heroes and Superheroes with his Green Hornet and Kato diorama. Mark says, Starting with a 116th scale Polar Lights reissue of Dick Tracy, I widened the hat brim and altered the suit jacket into an overcoat with Aves Epoxy Sculpt 2 part epoxy putty. Styrene bits were used to convert Tracy's pistol into the Hornet's gas gun as seen in the 1940s movie serial. A 1 16th scale Tamiya World War II German Wehrmacht tank crewman was the basis for Cato. The standing figure's limbs were repositioned to fit into the fire escape. The scars from surgery and details of Cato's outfit were also sculpted with Aves. The base was changed to resemble an alley seen in the serial. Mark's next entry is in MONMH12, Busts, and this is the Haunted Glowheads Vampire. Mark says, this is the one-third scale reissue by MPC Round 2 from 2011. After reinforcing the inside of the head halves with Aves Putty, I replaced the molded slit pupil eyes with taxidermy reptile eyes. After assembling the head, I ground off the hair and eyebrows with a Dremel tool. Once painted, I added theatrical crepe hair adhered with clear acrylic gel. Since the hair was real, I felt the vampire's clothing should be too. It's covered with silk from an antique umbrella with pieces cut from a handkerchief for the shirt. Mark's final entry is in MONMH2, Concepts and One of a Kinds. This one is entitled, Crazy, Am I? Mark says, this is the Monsters in Motion 1 16th scale resin figure of Colin Clive as Henry Frankenstein. I added styrene angle trim to the laboratory machine with metal tube connectors, wires, and two clamps attached to the electrodes on top. I printed dials on paper and glued them to the round instrument faces. Plastic domes cover the dials. The machine was cast with three featureless knife switches. I removed them and used only the hands to make two more accurately detailed switches from sheet styrene and tube. The brain jar and reduced anatomical drawings were added to the base. Well, how did you enjoy Mark McGovern's models for this year? Let us know which one was your favorite in the comments down below. And now for another returning competitor to our contest, who's been in many, many ones over the years, check out his models by clicking this video right here.